For those of you still using Napalm or generator, please throw them away. You don't need them anymore. Because today, I'm going to show you how to construct your own free electricity that can carry fridge, AC, all of your house with spark plug, just four spark plug and socket. Please, let's jump in. So this is 230 volt. That's why you must use a stabilizer for it. As you can see. Today, today, today we're gonna take a look uh, on uh, why spark plugs and uh, magnets themselves cannot create any form of free energy or any energy whatsoever in a very long and boring explanation. And yes, yeah, since uh, spark, spark plugs comes from uh, either a motorcycle, car or any internal combustion engines, today we're gonna take a look on how gasoline can run all your equipment. Yes, you heard it right. Gasoline is what really uh, contains all the energy to run everything in your car. Now, uh, energy, gasoline, we know that it's roughly 46 megajoule per, per kilo. There is a lot of energy density in such a liquid. Uh, now, uh, it's a little bit uh, slightly higher than diesel and a little bit less energy dense than natural gas. So yes, natural gas is far more efficient than gasoline. However, now, once you put gasoline into your internal combustion engine and you crank the engine and start running and you're just idling, just idling, you have so much uh, uh, instrumentation attached to it that your gasoline quickly starts going down. So now, anytime we run one of these instruments, uh, definitely the level of gasoline goes down because as we know, gasoline is what contains all the energy uh, to run everything up. So now, put gasoline into your internal combustion engine, crank it, uh, engine start idling. Now we have the um, uh, pump for air conditioning. So now, the air conditioning is off, but remember that the pump is attached to the motor through like a, a conveyor belt, a like transmission belt. So despite uh, the air conditioning is not on, your engine feels that pump as a load. Yes, as a load, even though you're not using the air conditioning. And so a little bit of this gasoline is consumed. Now, we have another pump that is permanently attached to the engine and that pump actually runs your steering wheel mechanism otherwise it's going to be too heavy to you know push and pull so you do need a pump that runs the oil inside your uh, steering wheel mechanism and even you're not uh, going anywhere your car is stationary it's parked However, the pump, once again, it's physically attached to the motor, so it's a load, yes, it's a load, so a little bit more of this gasoline is consumed. As you can see now, another one is the alternator. Then the alternator, once again, it's permanently attached to the motor through the same transmission belt. And uh, despite we're not running anything electrical uh, for now because the car is just idling, once again, the alternator is permanently attached to the motor and that means that yes we're still consuming gasoline because the alternator is another form of load for the engine so once again a little bit of gasoline is consumed now <laughs> imagine that the alternator by itself doesn't do really anything unless you attach another load which is your stereo, your car stereo. You want to listen to some music, of course. Now we are touching a load over a load. Yes, so if you run your car, your, your, your stereo, your radio, you're actually sucking more and more gasoline. So yeah, we consume a little bit of gasoline. Now, once again, from the alternator, we need to run a fuel pump. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. And the fuel pump, guess what? It's electric. Yeah, so it's another load on top of the load, on top of the load. And yes, in order to run the fuel pump, you consume fuel. Yes, of course. And uh, finally, we get to the rectifier and uh, to the voltage regulator because the, our alternator fluctuates. 
we really need 12 volts to charge our battery here but our alternator goes up and now fluctuate because you accelerate and accelerate and so voltage instead of 12 it can range from 9 to 20 30 50 volts we want to have 12 volts so we do need a, a voltage regulator that is going to charge our battery and that's another load it's a load of a load of a load of a load so yes charging your battery consumes gasoline and now finally we got to the <laughs> ignition coil now there are many more steps on top of it i just simplified it just for the just for the sake of this video now finally the rectifier and stabilizer go to the ignition coil that generate a high voltage spark for the spark plug yes so guess what this one consumes electricity and it's a load of a load of a load of a load so if you're running all this together we're still consuming more and more fuel yes and now we finally get to the spark plug so now from the spark plug goes back to your engine and you're still idling you're not going anywhere you're not even moving the car because when the, when the car starts moving you consume even more gasoline and that's when you get to the red line and you need to stop by at the gas station oh yes now finally we get to the spark plug let's go take a look at what a spark plug is and uh, voila we are going to make something uh, rather weird today we are using our uh, ignition coil outside our vehicle so we're just going to reproduce what the car does when you actually start the engine so now obviously it just because we have a spark and on our spark plug doesn't necessarily mean that there is no energy coming from nowhere sure enough a car has got an alternator and a battery now we're going to reproduce our battery with a 12 volt dc power supply now it's hooked up to a simple relay to to generate um, a self-oxidating uh, circuit very simple rather simple and uh, push the bobbin here the the primary to ignite the second one this is rather uh, a shitty low efficiency um, <laughs> uh ignition coil just like every car nowadays we use no longer this thing we have what's called um coil pack and it's uh, a rather small ignition coil um on the spark spark plug boots so it's gonna go over your plug so you generate high voltage straight up on the on the on the spark plug right here and uh, it's called coil pack but plenty of cars they still use the ignition coil just like this one and it's no more than just a step up transformer with plenty of energy loss matter of fact this thing it gets freaking hot um so now this is a rather simple circle nothing special and uh, we're actually going to apply as i said before 12 volts on the primary and uh, we see plenty of sparks here i mean hopefully all right crank it up about 12 volts roughly 12 volts and um, let's see if this thing works okay hold on there we go that is wow it puts everything out of that's kind of cool all right all right so the question now would be if we do have a spark here a nice shiny spark here why would you just use a uh, why would you need for a spark plug uh, just plug these things straight into your engine and uh, just have your um, piston run up and down up and down up and down Th there is a problem with that there is a big big problem is that this is a lot of spark this is a lot of energy so it's a lot of voltage and also a lot of current that current at that voltage it's really dangerous for your piston and uh, and your cylinder uh, it really wears it off and most likely poke a hole through yes it's a lot of energy so we need to actually in order to avoid um engine damages <coughs> you need to apply a resistor to in series to your spark right like that so you have high voltages but you drop the current so the spark would be just minimum 
minimum just enough to ignite gasoline so instead of having just a resistor like that we use a spark plug because a spark plug it is a resistor this is just a simple resistor as a matter of fact when you go plug it in we will see that we limit the amount of current we have in the in the circuit plug it back three two one as you can see a tiny tiny spark right there very tiny yep you see that we just limit the spark <laughs> within a few millimeter of gap and because they're inside the resist inside the spark plug it's not no no more than just a resistor the resistor varies bit from a spark plug to spark plug it depends from your engine so you have to really select the proper spark plug for your engine now we also have uh, um, some ceramic coating here simply because it's high voltage and also to insulate it because it gets hot so that's a thermal insulation and electrical insulation uh, now we have a thread so you can plug into your screw it up into your engine and so on but it's a simple carbon uh, resistor so <laughs> having a spark plug or having a resistor it's exactly the same thing now we finally got a little bit more educated about uh, spark plugs uh, and then uh, we quickly noticed that a spark plug is no more than a just a resistor spark plugs cannot generate any form of energy but rather consumes energy because that's what a re resistor is by dropping the current voltage and so on it gets really hot so all this energy has been dissipated as a form of heat and this is also the reason why we have uh, uh, thermal insulation such as a piece of ceramic coating nowadays i'm gonna show you a simple um uh, experiment you watch on youtube everywhere it's no more than just a spark plug and a simple 110 volts light then you grab a magnet and you get close to our uh, spark plug and you quickly generate energy or at least that's what it looks like well there is a simple trick behind let's go take a look oh yes another video with free energy and spark plugs now as we said before uh, a spark plug is no more than just a resistor and uh, so there must be some uh, hidden battery somewhere right of course uh, and the trick is always the same the old-fashioned trick with some uh, batteries an led and a red switch so whenever um, our magnet reaches close to the to the switch closes the circuit dump the energy into the led and looks like and seems to be the the spark plug it's what actually creates the energy in reality even if you remove our spark plug the circuit will work just fine and so this is the old-fashioned trick with uh, generating free energy with spark plugs sure oh yes uh, once again spark plugs yes they are just resistors and they do burn energy they do not produce energy no matter how strong is your magnet now uh, another way to show uh, this particular trick is by actually removing the light bulb and just using a, <coughs> a simple filament light and the result will be just the same so now you're wondering where did you put the batteries at remember there are always battery there is always a hidden power source somewhere once again, magnets and spark plugs. Let's go take a look at this trick. Oh yeah, once again, a magnet, <laughs> a spark plug, and we generate some electricity. At this time, without batteries, or at least that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it seems like. But uh, remember that there is always a trick. And the batteries at this time, uh, they got put in the back so whenever you see a spark plug and a magnet just remember that the batteries are always hidden somewhere because once again our spark plug is no more than just a resistor the resistor do not produce any form of electricity no matter how strong your magnet is they rather burn energy not produce energy
Oh, well, one more thing. Uh, you guys remember that since we have a resistor here, we can definitely measure it. It's not just on paper. I mean, we can easily take us our spark plug, remove it off the circuit, takes our multimeter and measure our resistance. And uh, yeah, very simple to do, easy, easy peasy. We get our anode and from our anode to our cathode should be a fairly open circuit, obviously. But if we touch the anode inside of our spark gap here, we notice roughly, wow, that's quite a lot, roughly 60 kilo ohm. So 60 kilo ohm of resistance inside this spark plug. Every spark plug is different, but definitely a resistor cannot generate any form of electricity. Whenever you have a resistor, you have a drop of energy. So yeah, this particular one is 60 kilo ohm. Uh, yeah, that's a big ass resistor right here. Oh well, if you made it all the way through my videos, congratulations and uh, we learned something new today. Uh, thank you guys for watching and um, if you want, just go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching.